So yesterday early morning, we lost power here. My Mr. Cool unit wanted being turned off all day. Didn't turn it back on until I got home from work. And we had a uh, mostly sunny temperature in the, in the mid 80s kind of day. Enough to get the house up to pretty good temperature. So here I get home, get onto my thermostat app, bring the temperature down, switch over to the Sense app, which still has the Mr. Cool heat pump under other because it hasn't picked it up yet. That's okay. Under other, we see with nothing else going on, there's about 300 watts of draw. But now, Mr. Cool Unit's gonna start to spin up, gonna start to take a little power. 200 and something watts. Oh, now it's really ramping up. We can see the outside unit is gonna kick on about this point. And we can keep watching the power go up. And up and up and up. Now we're getting up towards 2,000 watts draw. Really starting to get moving outside. Oh, now, now we're, we're cooking. We're just about where it's going to be. About 28, 2900 watts seems to be what it draws. So, what does that get me? So, in those conditions, it took the sun and the temperature, the heat, to get the house up four degrees in about five hours. The question has been, can this, can this new unit keep up better than my old system? Well, it knocked that heat back out of the house in less than an hour with that draw of 2,800 watts. Unfortunately, I didn't keep data for the old unit, so I can't tell you for sure, but I think we're going to be doing a lot better. Oh, and side note, my... I turned the Mr. Cool unit off so I could run with my small generator. Uh, it wound up dying on me, but now I have a new one, and now I know how much the heat pump takes. I bought a generator that will let me power the whole house, including the air conditioner. Big bonus.